Good Wednesday afternoon, guys. My name is Jerry Miller, and welcome to What's Barking Local here on the I Love Seville Network, live in Charlottesville, the Commonwealth, the country, and the world across all social media platforms. And today's show is going to be so full of joy. We can't wait for you to meet Frank the Tank, the chief eating officer of Frankly Fetching Fashion. Say that 10 times fast. I, I don't think I could. <laughs> Patty Zeller yes, moments can. away here on What's Barking Local presented by Animal Connection and Ix Park. Judah Wickhauer is our adaptable director. Jack of all trades. Literally on the fly. Made this work. Yes. J-Dubs, why don't we go to a two shot to start and welcome Patty Z to the program. Good hey, afternoon. you guys. Happy, happy Wednesday. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. Loving the winter. Loving the snow. Just loving being here today. This is awesome. And you're a busy bee. Oh, my gosh. We, I mean, what, well, when are we not? But we're just especially busy trying to bring joy and fun and enlightenment, enlightenment during the winter months. I mean... Nothing dull about winter at Animal Connection. No way. Winter, fantastic for Animal Connection. And Absolutely. And fantastic for the community, yes. including Change a Pet's Life Day. Yeah, we've got some fun things coming up. And, uh, you know, we, we look to the National Day calendar for inspiration at times. And this one is especially poignant. Um, this is Monday, January 24th, is, na is National Change a Pet's Life Day. And gosh, when you think about it, you can change a pet's life, you know, certainly through adopting a pet or fostering a pet and bringing them into your home, but also things you can do like better pet care, better nutrition, um, better awareness and dog training. And so we, we want to participate in this day in a really strong way. So we've created a welcome home bundle that we're going to give to Charlottesville dog and cat owners on Monday, January, um, January 24th. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to our store that day, uh, bring your adoption certificate from Charles Soul Albemarle SPCA, Caring from Creatures, Green Dogs and Leash, The House Project, Dogs is our better Blue Ridge. If you've adopted or fostered a dog or have a foster in your care anytime during 2021 and up till now, 2022. And these are really nice gift boxes. Um, it's not just a box full of, of food treats and samples and things your animal's going to love. It, there's also a $10 gift certificate in it just for you guys. I mean, it's just, uh, it's our gift to the pet world. It's our gift to the community. If you choose to make donations to any of the pet rescue groups on that day, you know, you can certainly do that at Animal Connection. We'll make sure it gets to where they need to go. But Monday the 24th, you can change your pet's life. That's that? amazing. Where'd you get that fantastic idea? Well, I'm, I'm lucky that our suppliers put things like this together. I mean, they have a really nice um, pet adoption program. So we, we carried this program in our store. We, we were able to give away good-sized bags of pet food and cans and things that go with it. It's all part of one of our loyalty programs. So, you know, we're... I love it that our suppliers make it so easy for us to give back to the community with things that they can really use. It's an amazing, yeah. amazing time for your calendar. Absolutely. And folks, another one is Saturday, January 29th, Fifth Saturday. I know. Well, everybody loves our Fifth Saturdays. Um, it's not a new concept by any means in the whole world of, of promotion, but gosh, you know, we have... Um, so much fun with it. You're asked to bring your Animal Connection shopping bags, of which there are many versions now throughout our 20 years. I mean, you can bring any one of those shopping bags. Whatever you can fit in those shopping bags is going to be 20% off. And let me tell you, when you, if you have our anniversary shopping bag, you can get a whole lot of stuff in that bag. So this is a great time to stock up. There will not be another fifth Saturday until late spring. So this is a great time to do this. Fifth Saturday, right. Saturday, January 29th. And yes. folks, the Super Bowl around the corner. <laughs> and of course, Animal Connection is going to make that special for you. Oh my gosh. Well, my, t my team's not in it anymore. Is yours? Here's mine. Oh Here's man. Mine. So, we don't know who's in it yet. I know. So now, so now we're just looking for really good football and really good playoff games coming up. But we put together a great lineup of snacks, Super Bowl snacks. I mean, we're all sitting around with our beer and popcorn and nachos and whatever. How about the dogs? So if you look at the picture, there's an entire table set up. And one of them, the items is a, a bandana. 
a football team bandana nice. from Mary Frankly, Zickler. Frankly, that's right. Fashion. That's right. Who you're going to meet in just a minute. But look at that table. It is full of over $150 worth of stuff. And here's how you're going to win it. So you're going to shop at Animal Connection, and we're going to give you an entry. Um, you're going to guess who you think the Super Bowl winner is going to be. And I know there's going to be a lot about you know, 50 people that think it's going to be Tampa Bay. Well, that's fine. If Tampa Bay is the winner, we're going to put all those names in a hat and draw out one winner. But it's $150 worth of really good stuff. I mean, there's even a little bit of Big Dog Blondale in that package. If you look Ooh. really closely, you can see a little bit of something, something extra. From our friends at yes, Three Notch. Three Notch. We love the Big Dog Blondale. That's and right. did someone say you're dressing up as Cupid? Uh, I might have said... <laughs> So we're getting ready for Valentine's Day. You're going to want to come and see our bakery case. It is getting full of the cutest Valentine treats and little barcuterie boxes and barcuterie. little I know little gift boxes of cookies and more Valentine's bandanas from Frankly Fetching, right? Frankly so, Fetching Fashion. That's right, fashion. Yes. So, um, and I'm going to take one for the team. Um, I'm going to dress up as Cupid. Yep, tutu and the whole bit. And we're going to do curbside Cupid. So this is going to be on Saturday the 12th. If you're making an order online, we're going to deliver it to your car with me, dressed as Cupid. If you'll make anywhere between a, 20, a minimum $25 donation to the rescue groups on that day at our store, I will deliver it to your house, dressed as Cupid. So you can wow. call me and ask for more information about that. But So we're going to do that. We're going to have a table set up so you can decorate your dog's Valentine cookies. And, you know, we're just going to have some fun that day. But, I, you know, I'm kind of looking forward to dressing up as Cupid because being a Cupid is so not typical for me. Do you have the costume <laughs> I mean, the ready to go? I'm going to have to bend that halo a little bit. Do you have the costume ready to go? I'm assembling it as we speak. Ooh. I may have a few elements already, but... Uh, yeah, I'm looking for some really great wings. If anybody knows you can get really great wings, let me know. I have a feeling that it's going to go viral <laughs> across Charlottesville and Almar on Central Virginia. I mean, can you and imagine doing that? I mean, you know, I, I really hope some people want me to do deliveries. It's going to be as awesome. Cupid. I, I would really like to do that. Delivering as Cupid across <laughs> the area, it does not get better than that. And I believe you know, February 2nd, we need a highlight. We can. Um, so that, what a crazy day. The, the second month... Second day, 2022. 2222. Right, 2222. We're going to have a, a really awesome sales day. You're going to get a choice of buying anything you want, buy two and you get the third one, 22% off, or you can get double loyalty points Ooh. for your purchases. So if you, you get a point for every dollar you spend at the store, and when you get 200 points, which is super easy to do with dog food, you get freebies. You get a $10 credit. So we're going to give you double points. So there's going to be a lot of $10 credits given away that day. 2222 yeah. at Animal Connection. Right. Iggs Park. And Patty, you've welcomed a friend. Oh, we, I want to talk one more thing. Oh, please. All right. Please. So we, we have a picture and a graphic. I know everybody was really bummed out about the snow for the last two weekends. You guys, you got to remember, we do free delivery. I drive the official car of the Swedish ski team. I can she does. Go, I can go places where four-wheel drives probably shouldn't. And so when you're ordering online, you can choose, for, curbside of course, but you can choose delivery within Charlottesville city limits. We go as far east as Glenmore. We go as far west as Farmington, as far north as Forest Lakes, and then south down through the 5th Street and Avon Street neighborhoods. So take advantage of that. I mean... You know, it does, it's, there's not much of a minimum order, and it's totally free delivery. Many times, it's free same-day delivery. So, yeah, check it out. That is awesome. Now. I love now it. Now we're ready. Judah, no. three-shot and get that four-shot <laughs> ready for no. Frank. Miriam Dickler, you are on That's screen. Good great. afternoon. That's right. Hi. This How is, are you? I'm great. Glad to be here. Introduce yourself mm. to everyone that's watching. Sure. So I'm Miriam Dickler. Mm. Um, some people may recognize me. I used to be on TV as a spokesperson for the city of Charlottesville. So if I look <laughs> a little familiar, that's why. Um, but I don't do that anymore. Uh, I make dog bandanas. I also do some consulting on the side, but mostly I make dog bandanas for a company I named after my awesome dog, Frank. Judah, can we get Frank on screen? Oh, Frank oh, yeah. is on screen. There Frank you go. Is on screen. <laughs> uh, let everyone know Frank. Frank's title. 
Frank is our chief eating officer. He's demonstrating how good he is at that <laughs> right, right this very minute. Uh, he earns that title every day. He's uh, very good at it. He's so good at it. He's just, he's a real, he's a real, you know, hard driving type chief eating officer, always wanting to do more. That's right. Take one for the team. Yeah. yeah. Always. He's on screen. This is uh, so And he's good, quite the guy know. about town. I mean, you, he goes everywhere with you. He goes a lot of places with mm. us. Uh, you know, sometimes he uh, does spend the day by himself or goes to daycare, but he <laughs> mostly hangs out with me and my husband right. and wanders around our neighborhood being super popular, yeah. way more popular than we will ever be. He's a big favorite at the farmer's market yeah. on Saturdays. Everyone loves He Frank. always comes in for treats and holds court. We will be walking <laughs> almost anywhere in the city and one of us will hear someone say, Frank! Frank! <laughs> and, and I will often look at them and say, I don't think I know you, but you clearly know my dog. So there he is. Yeah. How'd you get the idea for this fantastic business? Well, Frank is a pit mix of some sort. We think mostly pit lab. Uh, and he has a very serious face when you first see him. He has a very square, serious face. And it would occasionally make people back away from him, even though he is the kindest dog ever. The sweetest dog you will ever He's meet. a squishy yeah. face. He's wonderful. Just a big old puddle. Mm. And so I started making him bandanas to make it clear that he was a fun, loving guy who wanted to meet people. And <laughs> folks would tell me they really liked them. And one day I thought I should probably try making them. Then a little bit later, I wandered into Animal Connection and started Hello. talking to Patty. And now <laughs> I sell them online and she sells them in store. And Frank is a mogul. She even lets me choose my fabrics. I do. Ooh. So I can have Sometimes. exclusives. Yeah, so I can have Sometimes. exclusives. Frank yeah. is on screen on a four shot. Yeah, yeah, there you awesome. go. Frank, is there anything you want to say? <laughs> Frank, oh, God. He's just I will have to tell you, though, because I, I, I've been going to trade shows for almost 25 years now. And yours, I mean, I had to have them because yours are the best made Aww. they're double sided they so you really mm -hmm. get more for they your your investment and they're just i love having wonderful local things yeah especially with some some personality we really wanted <laughs> to make um you know so many mm. dog things are dogs like they just have pictures of dogs and we do those too mm. it's super fun we love putting dogs on dogs but we really wanted some that were just fun fabrics that you might wear yourself. Yeah. And so um, hopefully they are things that capture people's attention. I like variety, so frequently I will make two to four of one combination of fabric, and that's it. So I always tell people, if you really like it, you should probably just get it, because I can't guarantee I actually have any more Limited of the fabric. edition. Yeah, all limited edition. Um, but And all double-sided, because... That's two bandanas for the price, price of one. <laughs> it's actually four because you can bend yeah. the, the edge over and get like a collar effect. Ooh. Yeah. How so. about some of your best sellers? Mm. So um, we sell a lot. We sold a lot at Christmas time. Huh? Um, we had a lovely one that said, uh, naughty, nice, I tried. And the I tried was checked, which I think is great for most dogs. They do mm. their very best. And trying, trying matters. Um, for the Valentine's ones we've just put out, we have one that says free kisses. That's been very popular. I don't know about other people's dogs, but Frank is a very enthusiastic slobberer. We, we should have him come to Animal Connection on he, that he Saturday. He would love it. I yeah, won't. free kisses from Frank. We probably should discuss <laughs> where he puts his mouth, but yeah. Oh, I mean, he'd love you to, take that chance when you're with the dog. He'd love to you know? lick your face. <laughs> He's a dog. <laughs> He's a dog. Uh, so free kisses has been very popular. We have had uh, we have a few ski-themed ones for winter that people um. have really liked for taking their dog on ski vacation. Your dog may not be able to hit the slopes but you know why not look the best back at the lodge with your buddy uh, so we just have a lot of fun and frank will sleep on the floor of the sewing room uh, until he's done working and then we go do something else <laughs> i love Gosh. it i will say that the, the reason i um i liked the ones you did for halloween mm -hmm. thanksgiving the gobble to you wobble yeah. um and then the Christmas ones. I mean, I see so many things. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with everything red and green, but it was, you know, so many things you see in the pet world can be kind of cheesy and kind of a yawn. These were edgy, fun, fashionable. I mean, the, the fabrics are great. So if you're looking for something different, this is the kind of thing your dog's really going to want to wear. 
Well, and I think that one thing that I see a lot when I look at other people's stuff that they make for dogs mm. is that sort of monochromatic thing. But also, yeah. not all mm. dogs can wear those colors. They're like people, right? Like people have certain colors that complement them. And you don't want to mm-hmm. put a black bandana on a black dog or a right. white bandana on a white dog. And so having variety, having things that are blue at Christmas time mm-hmm. um, or having things that, you know, really speak to the dog's personality, I think is is more fun than everyone having the same thing that says... Bow wow, red and green. Bow wow, Christmas, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, it it just it's a lot more fun, I think, when they you know variety is the spice of life, and that's why we like them. I, I, I love her. I love this on. Plus, you know, you can wear you can wear them yourself. You know, you can, they, you can wear them as a cravat. Ooh, um, yeah. I'll, I will. Wear I can them demonstrate. Tie, tie you can your see, hair. You can just, just yeah. see, Very nice. Stylish for, for people, yeah. for dogs. I have been known to tie my hair back with one when I'm working because my hair gets in my face and I get annoyed. Day so, right you know, way. they're for everyone. They're how, fashion for everyone. How has the community response been? It's been great. I think one of the most fun things I experience is being out in public and seeing one of the bandanas oh, on a that. dog. It's just the most fun. We'll go to the farmer's market mm-hmm. or we'll um, just be walking and I'll mm-hmm. see a dog wearing it or a, someone will tag us on Instagram with their dog wearing the bandana. And it's always such a happy feeling. And every dog is obviously the cutest dog ever. I mean, Frank <laughs> is clearly the cutest dog ever to me, but every dog's the cutest dog ever. And they all make our bandanas look amazing so it's so much fun um, to see that and we've had a couple people who really uh, have supported us and have you know they buy one for every season sometimes two and they're so enthusiastic and so kind and just give us the best feedback and so we really like that and then I'll take someone to Patty and she'll say people are asking where are they where are they and that's just more like driving you crazy probably like we need more but it's really I mean that's that's, a problem yeah it's a great problem to have and honestly you know I I'm really grateful for the day that I asked Patty you know do you ever do you ever buy dog bandanas locally? And she's like, well, I'm actually looking for bandanas. And it really worked out well. And I'm not sure, you know, Mm. um, I think the response has been great. I know that it's better because I have such a great partner and I'm not going (laughs) to, you know, stroke her ego too hard, but I, Uh, (laughs) but I, I know that without that, um, yeah, we wouldn't have quite the reach we have, and I wouldn't see as many when we go out in public, and it wouldn't be quite as fun. Well, you know, Frank's Instagram is getting pretty big now. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's Frank, becoming quite the influencer. Frank, on the yeah, Frank has his personal Instagram and his business Instagram, so mm-hmm. I'm also, I guess, his momager. Is that, Whoa, that's a thing, momager. right? So, yeah, like, I'm his... I'm his, uh, his Reach out to Miriam for bookings <laughs> yeah, and requests. That's right. If, if you'd like to book Frank for your event, this is what he's going to do. I will warn you. Like, he's not going to, he doesn't do tricks. He lays on the floor and eats stuff. But, well, you know, he, if you see my dogs, this looks like the, uh, the Madonna, the Britney Spears, the Christina Aguilera of dogs, a superstar, because my dogs would be destroying the set literally right now. What is it about this brand that you love to source at your store? I just love, well, number one, you know, I love to support local and you know and put things back into the community but like I said I just love that they're different you know and I've shopped and I shop in New York Las Vegas Dallas Philly um, Orlando I mean I go to the major gift shows and they're just the nicest ones that I've seen and, and I like I just like the colors and selection I love that they're different so you know animal connection is different it suits us it's That's fun. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. You seem, um, Miriam, so happy and like yeah. so like. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> the energy you came in with was so like contagiously positive. Oh, thank you. Um, can you put in perspective the positivity that comes with owning the business? and seeing the smiling faces and the stylish dogs around the community for you? Um, yeah, you know, I... Especially perhaps from the previous gig? Um, yeah, as I mentioned, I, I come from a that? background in, in public government <clears throat> communications, um, which is, to be honest, extremely rewarding, right? You get to impact people's lives every day, and I do miss that. But um, I had never made something 
right? Like everything I did was sort of theoretical or I would write a piece or I would work with people on communication, but there was never anything physical and tangible that came out of it. And these I make, I make them and they go to someone and you know, I put them in the mail or they buy them from Patty and they bring them joy. And it's that experience of knowing that something I've made and put into the world has brought someone even just a little bit of happiness um, and brought their dog happiness what are you doing? All right, well, he's on screen. He's, what he's, he's doing down there? He's, <laughs> he's attacking, I believe, the bully stick that he has to, to get him through. But, um, you know, that is a really, it's a different experience for me. And in my, you know, my long career in communication, that wasn't something I ever got to do. And I think that that's really where it's just so exciting. I can a thousand percent relate to that because, I, you know, I come from the same kind of background that you do, advertising and marketing. And when I started baking dog cookies two years ago, I mean, and I flunked home back in high school. So making a dog cookie yeah. out of necessity because... I can't believe you flunked anything. I did. I, With your home spirit. Home and physics. Home ec and physics. Really? Yep. Basically the yep. same thing. Home ec and physics. <laughs> but I mean, I started doing the dog cookies because my supplier had a really bad disaster uh, three weeks before an Easter, and all the frosting was lifting right off the cookies. I mean, what was I going to do? I had no Easter cookies. So Conrad and I started baking and made it happen. And to this day, I mean, last year, I was still buying a few wholesale that were super duper professional looking. I mean, pristine. And I found that the ones that I did that were a little bit goofy and a little bit lopsided and you know, still yummy, still had that homemade look. Sold but, uh, best. Right. They were the ones that, so now I don't buy wholesale anymore. You know? But it's that, that feeling of, I'm making something like, like wow, he really likes it. You yeah. know, I still get that when, oh my God, I made a bacon cupcake and you like it. You know, it gets really exciting. So you know, what is, know? that is well said. Thank you. What is, <laughs> what is next? for frankly fetching fashion. Ooh. Ooh, we have a couple things coming up this year. Uh, right now, uh, mm. this, is, this is the grand announcement, because uh, I haven't said it publicly yet. I, am, I have a few ready to go of smaller sizes. Those will probably just be on our online store, uh, but they're for, really for very small dogs. Um, you know, not Teeny all weenies. of Frank's friends. Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> okay, Frank. just checking it out. Frank's done. Um, <laughs> so, not all of Frank's do <clears throat> friends are big dogs, so we are making a few for his smaller friends. And then we will be adding personalization options Ooh, coming smart. soon. So, you can either have a custom message like best dog ever, or you can have uh, your dog's name put we, on a bandana. We also talked about putting your dog's neighborhood. Yes. Oh. Like, Bel yeah. like Belmont dogs. Yeah. Or and we may have some more like neighborhoods. Um, we may do some of those that will be exclusive in the store uh, of just like the Charlottesville neighborhoods mm -hmm. um, or even just a something to represent the city. How about sports teams? Um, you know, there's a lot of licensing issues there, True. but I mm -hmm. am happy to do the two sides in team colors. Oh, great uh, idea. We did do some for UVA that were uh, not exactly UVA, red, orange, and blue, but they also <laughs> had a, a silhouette of the state with a heart over Charlottesville. Right. So that, you know, it said UVA without saying UVA. So we will have those. And then finally, we will be making bow ties and hair bows, if I can figure out how a bow stays on a dog's head. I know it can be done. I just have to do a little research. Frank, <laughs> doesn't, Frank doesn't wear a lot of stuff on his head. So. Yeah, collar bows. Collar bows. Right. So, yeah. Patty, you've been in biz and the animal space mm -hmm. for 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. What's the advice you would offer Miriam, who's been in business what year? Last year. Last year. Yeah. What's the advice you would offer? Well, I mean, it, gosh, that would be hard for me to give her any advice because she's on trend, she's knowledgeable, she watches and knows what's going on, not only in the community, but also in the media. She knows how to promote herself. I mean, I should be getting uh, information from her on how to run Animal Connection. And I, I tried. <laughs> it's it's but, a mutually beneficial relationship. Yes. <laughs> but no, seriously, I mean, you know, geez. 
just look and see what's going on in the world. And, uh, you know, yes, you can walk trade shows and see what other people are selling, but why not be ahead of it? And I, that's where I think Miriam goes, is she's ahead of what other pet apparel companies would like to be doing. How do you stay ahead of trend? I just sort of follow my gut. Yeah? Yeah. I Trust do, your instinct. I do stuff I like. That's mostly what I do. Um, you know, I listen to what people are doing. I look at what people are wearing. Um, I try to... Aww. Oh, they're saying hi. <laughs> um, and, look at those tails. And from there, <laughs> I, you know, I, I go pick out fabric and hope that I see something that, that speaks to it. Frank, Frank has left the building. Frank he's is not he's checking out. He's getting ready Frank to sit at Jerry's desk. Hey, buddy. Hey. He's, good check. he's looking. He's, oh, now he's over at the bar. Buddy. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Good, good man. <laughs> So is this is this um, is this a brand with potentially jackets in the future? Other apparel? Um, you I know, mean, leashes. I, yeah. First, we have to get through uh, this wave. You know, it's still just me in my basement sewing room, sure. turning these out. I respect that so much. Yeah. So, but eventually, I hope that we will be able to offer more stuff. Hey, Frank. No, that's good. This is good. We're adapting on the fly to Frank. Oh, He's gosh. making himself at home. Gosh, I love it. buddy. Here buddy, come here. Here we go. Come here, buddy. He's okay. I love it. He's I love it. This the is live programming at its yeah. finest right here, Judah. He's a, he's a pit bull in a china shop. So. <laughs> he's, he's good. So, Patty, this... Um, I, I love this idea. I love Frank. I love everything that's happening with Animal Connection. Uh, Miriam, we wish you the best. Thank you. Um, how's uh, how's the uh, the hubby responding to frankly fetching fashion? Oh, it loves it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, it, it keeps us it keeps Frank and I out of trouble and helps supplement Frank's <laughs> massive treat budget. I know he so. likes having you at home. Yeah. Yeah. And well, you it sounds know. like Frank and, and your hubby are like besties. They are. They are. They're a, they're a real team. So when Brian is working from home, Frank sleeps with him up in his office, and it's all very sweet. So you, you, you found Frank at the SPCA. Do we you did. have any tips for anybody that's looking or oh. considering a, yeah. a pet right now? Um, do it. <laughs> that's my Just advice. Just do it. <laughs> um, you know, we went online. Uh, I think one of the things I would say is, like, lots of people want puppies. Um, Frank was two when we got him, um, and it was great. He already was potty trained. Buddy, what do you see? <laughs> is there a pooch out there, Judah? <laughs> just, just, <laughs> it's just outside. Frank sees outside. Um, but, you know, I, I think older dogs sometimes get a bad rap. I don't think people think about adopting adult dogs, and they're great. You know, puppies are adorable, but there are babies. You have to do all the baby yeah, stuff with them. That's right. A uh, one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old dog, or even older, they, um, Frank, <laughs> they, they will. Uh, How do they are? He's he's protecting the studio. That's good. Thank um, you, Frank. We love you. <laughs> they they you know already have some stuff figured out, and I think that that can be really really beneficial. So Very nice. I'm gonna go see what he's. Oh, absolutely. He's just looking at the you window. Know. He's fine. We'll go. Well, he's uh, chewing at the same oh. time, so he's not that worried about it. He's, multitasking. He's multitasking. Yeah. Absolutely. How about this? You can find bandanas at Animal Connection. You can find bandanas at Animal Connection. You can find out more about Frankly Fetching Fashion on Facebook or Instagram. We're yes. on both. Just search Frankly Fetching Fashion. Um, and then we are also online on Etsy, and all of those things are linked on our social media. Fantastic. Guys. Nice. I love this. I thought you might. Uh, yeah. Thanks, yeah. guys. You know I love the entrepreneurial journey. <laughs> Absolutely. How about, uh, Judah, we'll go on a two-shot here um, with Patty and I. It's you and I on screen. Patty yep. Z. How about some closing thoughts on a fantastic interview and, oh, and everything that's going on in your world? Well, I mean, everything couldn't be better right now. I mean, I, I know there's a lot of strife and uncertainty going on, but, you know, we're trying to keep things really positive for everybody to enjoy at Animal Connection. And even if you don't have a pet, come say hi to us. I mean... You never know what's going to happen at Animal Connection. There's always some lovely animals visiting. There's things going on. We, we have a great neighborhood. We have wonderful neighbors in Lampo and Brazos and Jaybird Coffee. But, you know, just, just go for a nice walk outside and come say hi. See what's going on. If you know have p people that have pets that, you know, might dig what's we're, you know, what we're doing, you know, send them our way. We, you know, we would always appreciate that. And support local where you can. 
20 plus years of positively <laughs> serving the community, Animal Connection, <laughs> Patty Zeller, frankly fetching fashion, Miriam yes. is the absolute best, Frank is the best. Patty, I really and like you're the best. I really like this. Good. I'm I glad like you did. what you did today. Thank you. Excellent work. Thank you. Excellent work. Gosh. Judah Wickhauer, thank you for adapting. <laughs> Thanks, to Judah. Judah. And Liza. I know. And Judah Liza has a new boyfriend. The sigh of relief right there. <laughs> she's Judah. like, she's like, he's not staying. It's Behind okay. the scenes, always the unsung <laughs> heroes of broadcasting. That's right. Um, thank you for joining us, guys, on What's Barking Local, yes. presented by Animal Connection, which you can find in Ix Park. You guys enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. That's right. Take care. Have a good day. Very nicely done. Yeah.